Yeah, no, that was obviously quite a um, kind of day in the life, but a quite severe situation for you. Yes. Yeah. So what was, what's it like now? Exhausted. But and is now different from, from, from then? So I've gone back to studying, I work, I've taken part in this mm. filmmaking process. Um, so things are good. Yeah. Things it's are amazing. Good. University in September. That's incredible. Yeah, it is incredible. It felt, um, I just wanted to ask you also what it was like watching you being portrayed. What was it like watching yourself? I think for me, I've been, I've felt scrutinised for a very, very long time where I've been in the system a long time, mm. portrayed in the film. So what do you think someone watching this film, what do you, what, what do you want them to see? What do you want them to come away with? For other people that don't have the experience, that personal experience, is to, to understand just how exhausting it is. Yeah. Well, um, I, I certainly both that, Both yeah. actually explaining it, living it, and, and, and the experiences that you then can't forget with different circumstances in terms of environmental factors actually make a really huge difference on someone's mental health. So do you think people watching this film, would, do you want them to appreciate that? Or do you, do you want to, to enlighten them or change their minds? Or I think what? often <clears throat> for me, I was always discharged into the same situation, same kind of circumstance environmentally, and back to the care of mum. And yeah. so it didn't always have the best outcomes. And therefore, it's about appreciating the fact that decisions around certain life aspects can have a huge impact that then the individual has to live with yeah. rather than everybody else around them. I think it's about appreciating the enormity of the fact that the individual can't walk away from themselves, but everybody else can. And so when in the film you're left with kind of the sort of situation and it's quite stark mm. often whether it be the like job center kind of setting or what have you they get to go home and shut off from that because for them that's that's a job but yeah. for you you are you are in that situation and you can't necessarily take yourself from intern like internally or what's happening with your mind yeah and so it's about appreciating the enormity of you not being able to walk away from yourself. Yeah. I think from my experience, mm -hmm. um, what I'll bring to um, my life from here on is to not assume someone's having the same experience as me. And just to take into consideration the fact that there's all this stuff going on. I mean, it's so complex. I mean, just a, a straightforward conversation is difficult enough. You've got all this stuff going on around you, um, let alone all the domestic situation, let alone all the forms you're supposed to fill in and all the jobs you're supposed to, and the sanctions and the, I mean, it's just, just endless. I think often, And the justifying and, and telling the people the narrative yeah. and trying to get some sense of evidence to it's like you're in a legal fight all the time as well constantly you and feel I, like you're in courts and you have to try and it's <clears throat> put across time, your reality and not every time you meet someone a new professional regardless of their profession you have to start from the beginning because yeah. it's so complex well i saw that when i was in the, working in the hospital every time. and yeah. so it is, it is exhausting and for me that that side of things is almost over mm. which is a really good thing and I think it has made me more resilient. And, you know, when you feel in a constant sort of shitstorm, for like, mm. you know, you can't build resilience until that storm has actually ended. Mm. That's when resilience kicks in. But if you're in a constant storm, you can't step out of it. Mm. And it also makes you overly critical mm. of situations, people, and I think the, the structures and kind of frameworks in society are not built for modern day living or actually making sure that somebody does have the tools to be able to kind of 
utilise the things they need to have control, more control over themselves or how they choose to live. Say I came across you and, and yeah, you're in a difficult position. There's a lot going on for you, but I might have been a stranger on the street. I don't know you. And I think I would probably what do you be want from a me? little bit wary of that. But what do you want from me as a public? Do you want me to ignore you? Do you want me to just accept who you oh, are? Oh, I see what do you, you mean to now. Be totally no, tolerant I think it depends. There needs to be changes in the system to ensure that people don't have to live like that. You're working on that now, no? I am, mm. but it is even that even is really exhausting yeah. and it's unnecessary mm. to have to still be sort of caught up in it. Mm. When things don't have to be overcomplicated, don't complicate them. Don't keep putting barriers. Do you feel like, and now with with all your experience, you you can actually you could actually advise, and you can you're in a position now to to actually help these structures and and. and I think so. Make it easier for people like you who have had these experiences. Well, one of uh, the things that I do is volunteering. So it's actually about helping people into training, education and employment from offender background. And with that is most of the issues that I've encountered, like people from, from an offending background would actually have a similar issues or a range of issues that are covered within that. Mm. So... That's what I'm choosing to do with my time. And I do think it is, you know, like, like I said, environmental things. Yeah. So it's about where you live. Yeah. It's about how comfortable you feel. Yeah. You but know? that's the environmental stuff. And I, I think that's what I've taken from this with you. It's a very complicated picture. No one can really come, on, come along and go, it's this and this and this. If you, if you don't have stability at home, mm. you've got nowhere to start from. Yeah. And I think that's the most important message. Yeah. You need stability, but you need it to start from the home and then work its way outwards. Mm. Great, thank you very much, Anthony. Thank you for letting me be you. <laughs> <laughs> or try oh. to be you. It's exhausting. <laughs>